We're going to look today at the Vox AGA 150 acoustic amplifier. This is part of the Vox AGA range of acoustic amps. They do a 150 watt, which is this one, a 70 watt and a 30 watt. The nice thing about this one is it has a vacuum tube in one of the channels, which gives it a nice, warm, natural sound. This is a very versatile amp. It has two channels. Each one can take either a microphone or a guitar. It also has a power amp module from Bang & Olsen, a 6.5 inch woofer and a one inch tweeter. And really, if you look at it, it is tiny compared to say a 30 watt electric guitar combo. So let's have a look at the top and the back of the amplifier. Looking at the top, we can see that it has two channels, normal and tube pre, each of which can take a guitar or a mic, but not both at the same time. That's ideal if you're a guitar playing singer, plug your mic in one channel and your guitar in the other. Each of the channels features high or low gain, depending on uh, the input of your guitar and whether your pickup is active or passive. And also you get phantom power on the mic input as well. Controls include volume, bass, middle, treble, colour and reverb, as well as an anti-feedback which controls both channels, a master volume, you get chorus and also you get an all mute which is great when you want to plug your guitar in, just flick the switch on there. If we turn to the back panel you can see we get a foot switch input, a DI out so you can plug it straight into your audio interface or into a PA, a tuner out you can plug a tuner into this which uh, won't hear if you put the all mute switch on you can use your tuner, a line in left and right so you can plug in a keyboard for example and an aux in where you can plug in a CD or a MP3 smartphone. We'll now plug in our in-house acoustic a Tanglewood TDW55 which has a Peso pickup on board. First off the tube pre-channel you can hear the lovely bass sound coming through and the clear mids and trebles. Now the same using the normal channel. One thing you need to be mindful of though is with this amp, if you whack the strings too hard or have the input volume too high, the amp will clip your sound. So you need a bit of experimenting with the input and output volume, which will soon sort this out. We'll do a bit of strumming. One great thing about this amp is its versatility. You can plug in an MP3 with a bass and drum beat to play along to, and on stage connect to a PA, outputting your sound and using the amp as a monitor. How cool is that? One thing Vox don't mention is that you can also plug in a semi-acoustic or hollybody electric and get some great natural tones. I mean, how many acoustic amps can do that? The AJ150 retails around the 400 to 425 pounds mark. And the AGA70, which has very similar features, about £300. Go check one out. 